Hello everyone, in this lecture we will study about system on chip. An IC that integrates multiple components of a system onto a single chip is known as system on chip. Okay, so you can see the multiple components over here of a system which are built on a single chip. Okay. So we have memory array also, we have the DSP code, we have different parts which are all fabricated on a single chip as well as they are interfaced with the standard function, bus uh, compatible peripherals, technology which services memory, microprocessor core, where we have the another third party peripheral components having silicon vendor, then we have custom memories as well as this legacy components. So basically you can say that this system on chip is more of a system, not a chip. Or we can say in addition to integrated circuit, these system on chip consist of software and interconnection structure, which is used for its integration. Okay, so we will use both the software as well as interconnection structure to build this system on chip. It can consist of all or some of the following that is the microprocessor and CPU core we have already seen in the diagram before then on chip interconnection that is it can have buses networks to have this chip interconnection then it can have analog different types of analog circuits then it will have accelerator or we can say application specific hardware module then we will have its ASICs logics it can have predefined libraries or it will use uh, which are not defined then it will have a software that is it can have any operating system or application which can be used in the product we are trying to make then it will have firmware so it is a system on chip which will have different components or we can say which will have all of the components that will use in a system it can be a hardware software it can be an analog circuit digital circuit it can be an internet connection network it can be a processor or we can say it can be any logic which can be used in this system on chip. Then this system on chip component comprises of a processor or multiprocessor that is having including DSPs, microprocessor or microcontroller and the core of this processor is simply the uh, as I have seen the on chip memory, accelerator, peripherals which can be a USB or ATH or it can have PLN and power management, etc. Okay, and we can say this SOC that is system on chip is an IC design by combining multiple standalone VLSI designs. Okay, to provide a functional IC for an application. So this system on chip is designed by combining multiple standalone VLSI designs which are already there to provide a functional IC for an application. It comprises of pre-designed models of complex functions uh, like cores that are IP block, virtual component, etc. that serve various admitted applications. Okay, now we will see how system on chip design. Now first we will satisfy that what does the customer actually really wants. Then we will architect, how we will architect it we will see what is the most cost and performance effective architecture to implement this particular need. Then we will see which existing component can be used or adapt and can be reused. Then we will evaluate what is the performance impact of a cheaper architecture besides using this particular architecture, what is other alternatives. Then we will implement that what can we generate automatically from the libraries and customization libraries are those which are predefined function and what we can further customize over them then we will use separate computation as well as communication etc so there is a flow chart or we can say typically design steps of this particular soc first is the top level design then unit block design this a unit block design needs uh, three weeks then unit block verification we will do we will which will again need three time week then integration and synthesis requiring two weeks then the 
this one is the trial netlist which is the everything that is timing convergence and verification of the particular circuit uh, which require uh, 12 weeks okay in this particular we will also do system level verification and then final fabrication is done which will require four week in preparation of the dvt and the final dvt is ready which require again four weeks okay so due to chip complexity and lower ic area it is very difficult to reduce the placement layout and fabrication step time okay so there is a need to reduce the time of other steps besides this placement layout and fabrication and uh, always one should consider the chip layout issues in front okay so this is all about the soc design flow that how it requires and what is the time requirement then next we have this soc system on chip here i have shown you that it cannot be considered as a large essay as in this the architectural approach involving significant design reuse and it addresses the cost and time to market problems also okay so in this diagram you can see that is a have an mpack co in this it have a gpu it have other component including analog rf as well as the digital one it have dsp it have cpu okay so this soc design is significantly more complex okay because it have to have a cross domain optimization it have ip reuse which will increase productivity but not that enough and even with extensive ip reuse that is intellectual property reuse many of the asic design problems will remain there and more can be there okay so what are its applications what are the different application of this system on chip this soc design includes embedded processor core and significant software component which leads to additional design challenge okay and if we can say it is a system on an ic that integrate both a hardware as well as a software intellectual property using more than one design methodology okay so it is application specific this system on chip is application specific so what are the typical application of this soc is consumer devices okay then next is networking and communication and third one is the biomedical devices you can use like fingerprint and all of these and then are the other segment of electronic industries it can be a cellular smartphone it can be a some small ac design then it can be a high definition tv it can be a game console it can be a pc on a chip okay so there are the different applications this is all about system on chip in the next lecture we will study about system and package thank you